What's up guys? Seth from CrowdSurf Central here with Tom, guitarist of Forever Came Calling at the Cambridge stop of the farewell tour for Major League. How you doing Tom? I'm doing uh I'm doing pretty good. I'm insanely tired, but other than that. You got a long drive ahead of you tonight. Yeah we do and we had like not a long drive last night, but we just had a crazy long drive beforehand. And then so like like a three hour night drive that I had to do, so I just have to slip well. But oh. other than that I'm doing great. So it's fun. Yeah, it's going to well, for those who don't know, can you tell us how the band formed? Uh, try to make the long story short. Um, Joe, who sings in the band, started it with like a completely different lineup. Uh, I want to say about seven years ago in 29 Palms, California. He, the, which is mostly like high school like cover band kind of thing. And then um, a couple years later, John, who plays bass, who, who plays bass now, joined the band and. Um, and they, that's when they started trying to get a full time with real band. And then I just came to the picture like probably like two years ago, almost. Yeah, almost two years ago. A couple tours later. But uh, just started the same way every other band does, like when you're young, just meet a bunch of kids at school. All kind of have the same common interest. And the rest of it, me and Joe and John met the same way. Like, you know, uh, our bands toured together. Like, my old band toured with FCC before I was in it. And uh, just became like fast friends. And, and uh, how's the tour been so far? The tour has been really cool. Um, we've had our van broke down a couple days ago, so that's been like an annoying situation. Other than that, it's been awesome. Uh, everyone's sudden suspension is really cool. Uh, we've known everyone in Major League for a while, so it's cool to like do one last little thing with them before you know everything ends for them. But uh, all the shows have been really fun. Um, that show was cool. The Long Island show in Amityville was really awesome. So uh, we played a couple shows in like, Texas that were really cool, like the uh, So What Fest. And then we played South by Southwest. And both were awesome. Nice. That's what I, that takes care of one of my questions. But um, you're also doing the farewell tour with Man Overboard. Yeah. Uh, uh, looking forward to it, you know, all that. Yeah, definitely. I, uh, I remember, like, what is that? That first EP is called Hung Up on Nothing getting that and thinking like like years and years ago like this band is like clearly gonna be a huge thing like i always thought i always thought their songwriting was really cool which is weird because all my friends give me shit thinking they think i hate that band for some reason i don't i think that band is awesome uh i love i love the eps before the first record i love real talk i love that heart attack record i think the last one was really good too so uh i'm bummed that they're breaking up i'm bummed that a lot of bands are breaking up now but I'm really excited to play those shows because I haven't seen them in a while anyway. And, uh, I, you know, there's there's definitely a few songs that I was, I'm, like, really happy I get to see, like, four times before they, I, I might not ever see them again. So. Yeah. And you had mentioned So What and South by Southwest. Yeah. You know, can you tell, tell me about that?
playing a show and then driving 11 hours, playing a show and then driving 11 hours. That whole tour, I remember, is, like, this amazing, incredible nightmare. But as far as, like, just show, like, actual, like, happy memories from tour, I think, like, the, the Warp UK show we played last year was awesome. We played the Electric Factory in the UK with Four Years Strong on tour we did with them. That was incredible. Uh, so, uh, the So What Fest set this year was great. And then just all, I don't know. Pretty much every single tour we've done has had, like, that I've done since I've been in the band has had at least one, like, amazing pinnacle moment for me, so it's hard for me to pick. But if I had to pick one, it would probably be that show we played at the Electric Factory with Four Years Strong, just because it was an absurd amount of, it was the biggest show I'd ever played at the time. And, uh, it was, like, a life-changing moment, or a life-affirming moment for me to be playing music in front of thousands of people in, like, you know, another continent. Nice. Well, no, what's your favorite part of coming to Boston? I don't know, because I'm trying to think about it. I haven't personally been to Boston. Like, I don't think the FCC has played Boston since I've been in the band. So I think this is the first time. I've been to Boston before, like, maybe twice with my old band. But it was like, the shows were, I don't even, we came, played, left immediately. But uh, if I had to think about something, just the environment's really cool. Um, it kind of, I, don't, I don't really understand why, but I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, and this reminds me of certain parts of Atlanta. Uh, like, not really the Edgewood area, but like, it just, it kind of, it feels like home in a strange way, in a way I can't really describe, but uh, I don't know. Also, I, I like coming here when I have gotten to come here because my dad is like, my dad loves Boston for some reason, so just whenever he knows I'm in the city, he just calls me and tells me all these dumb tour spots I need to go to and everything, which is not dumb, but. You know, just normal dad yeah. stuff, and that's that's cool. So that, that's actually probably my favorite part, is my dad being so happy that I'm here. Nice. We're going to get into the lightning round. Okay. Some random questions. Okay. you got to say the first answer that comes to your mind. Okay, I'm a big fan of this. All right. If your life was a movie, which actor would play you? Oh, my God. We were talking about this the other day. Who said, uh, crap, I'll, I'll go with young Je Jurassic Park era Jeff Goldblum. All right. Just because he's weird. Yeah. And what is your favorite movie? My favorite is Jurassic Park. Yeah. Excellent choice. Favorite book? Uh, I, oh, I almost said Jurassic Park. I don't want to, <laughs> but it might be my favorite book. Uh, my favorite book is probably uh, it's actually the first. It's a compilation of Ernest Hemingway stories called The First Five Years. Just stuff he did like the first five years he was an active writer. That's probably my favorite book. All right, now what's your best knock knock joke? Oh God, I don't know if I have any. Uh, someone, everyone always asks me to tell jokes like this, and I just my humor is so based on like farts. I don't. Uh, legitimately, as immature as it would be, it would be me saying "knock knock" and you saying "who's there?" They're being party. Like as dumb as that is, I don't have a good knock knock joke, and I feel bad. Or like "knock knock," who's there? Orange, orange shoe, and then me party. Something stupid like that. Right. I've got to develop like that. Uh, if you could get rid of any state, which one would it be, and why? Uh, New Jersey. Uh, which is bad because I have a ton of friends in, from New Jersey, but I, the roads are awful. I don't like that I can't pump my own gas, even though I met a really cool gas station attendant last night. Uh, it pay, it, like, if you're driving a van and trailer, just getting in and out of New Jersey is awful, and it costs so much money in tolls. So, that's it. Or or I'll pick maybe one of the Dakotas. All right. Who cares? Yeah. 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 And uh, just to wrap it up, is there any new music planned? There is. We started writing some stuff before this tour we've probably got like three to four maybe like one finished song you could say and then like three other like songs that are like 60 percent there but we haven't had a ton of time to but we're, we're gonna do a new record um that's what our plans are this summer is just to work on that for a long time and try to like put out an, another banger so, all right yeah this is tom from forever game calling catch him april i want to say april 13th when they come through town with Man Overboard. Oh, actually, we're not playing that. We're only playing the California shows, but oh. I believe my friends in a band called Microwave are playing, so you should get there early and see Microwave. That'll All right. Great. So they won't be playing, but see Microwave. Please see Microwave, yeah. It's Crowdsurf Central in Cambridge.